Some are calling it Revenge of the Nerds. After 26 years, a college basketball team finally tastes victory. Some of the brightest minds in science witnessed a little history last night. Caltech's men's team ended a 310-game conference losing streak, beating Occidental College 46 to 45. The winning point in the Braun Athletic Center came from Brain Ryan Elmquist, a computer science major. It was probably the best way I could end my career that I can think of making like a last minute, last second shot. So can't think of a better storybook ending. He's not the first Caltech sports star, but he is the first in a while who was actually playing in the game. 50 years ago, Caltech students scored points for ingenuity at the Rose Bowl altering a color-coded card system to spell out Caltech as the Washington Huskies played the Minnesota Gophers. Known more for physics than phys ed, the school's Hall of Fame boasts 31 Nobel Prize winners. We had more kids who were valedictorians than who played high school basketball. We should have won all of them. <laughs> but for coach Oliver Esslinger, last night was a little bit of genius. I always make fun of people I see on TV, other coaches and players and championships, and I'm always thinking, can't you come up with something better? And I can't come up with something better. <laughs> As for Ryan, like any varsity star, he's off to play in the big leagues as a software engineer for Google. By the way, it's not as bad as it sounds. Caltech ends the season with five wins in all. Four of them were outside their conference. Congratulations, guys.